In this illustration, we intend to simulate explosion inside the pipe using Conweb method in the Abacus software. Conweb method is normally used for simulating explosion in the air. In this question, explosive material is PE4 that is situated exactly at the center of the pipe. In this picture, you observe the effect of exploding 600 grams of PE4 on the pipe. In the next picture, you observe the effect of exploding uh, 400, 600, and 800 grams of PE4 on the pipe. Actually, this question has been solved three times and the mass of explosive changes each time. In this diagram, the hoop plastic strain for PE4 various masses can be observed. Here, the diagram obtained from the Abacus software displays them with red points. In fact, we are going to simulate this article in the Abacus software. The article is entitled Internal Explosive Loading of Steel Pipes. In this picture, the effect explosion of 0.6 grams of PE4 has had on the pipe is observed. In this picture, the schematic of the explosion process inside the pipe can be observed. In this picture, the diagram of the hoop plastic strain has been displayed, having been drawn for various masses of the explosive. I will enter the Abacus software for simulation. I will click on create part. I intend to create geometric shape of the pipe. I will select the modeling space as three dimensional, select deformable, solid, and extrusion. Enter approximate size equal to 0.5, continue. I will click on create arc and draw a circle quarter in this manner. As explained in the article, the length of the pipe is 800 millimeters and the outside diameter of the pipe is 324 millimeters and its thickness is 9.5 millimeters. The radius of pipe is equal to 162 millimeters. I will click on Offset Curves, select this curve, Done, and enter Offset equal to 9.5 millimeters. Actually, 9.5 millimeters is the thickness of pipe. I will click on Done and enter the length of pipe equal to 800 millimeters. As you observe, one quarter of the pipe, pipe's geometric shape was drawn. In fact, since the pipe is symmetric, we simulated one fourth of the whole pipe. In the next step, I will enter Property Module. Click on Create Material. The pipe is made of API5LX42.
In the next step, I will enter Interaction module. Click on Create Interaction property. Here, select Incident Wave. As explained in the article, the explosive is PE4. Continue. Here, I'll select Air Blast. Click on Seed part and enter approximate global size equal to 0 0.0025 meters and OK. I will click on Seed Edge, select the thickness of pipe. Done. And consider six elements for them. Finally, I will click on Mesh Part and Yes. The formation of the pipe in an experimental sample has been displayed. And here, the formation of the pipe has been displayed in the Abacus software. As you observe, the maximum of hoop plastic strain has been marked out with red color. That equals 9.3 multiplied by 10 to the power of negative 2. I write down the quantity of hoop plastic strain that equals 0, 0.0. 93. Here, PE4 mass is equal to 0 0.6 kilograms. Actually, when the mass of the explosive is equal to 0 0.6 kilograms, the maximum of the hoop plastic strain equals 0 0.093. In fact, we intend to draw such a diagram in the Abacus software. Here, the horizontal axis of diagram is hoop plastic strain. And the vertical axis distinguishes the mass of PE4. I will click on Result. Here you observe the formation of cylinder caused as a result of detonating 800 
grams of PE4. As it can be observed here, the maximum of hoop plastic strain is equal to 0 0.15. Here, you observe the formation of the pipe under the detonation of 400 grams of PE4. As you observe, the maximum of hoop plastic strain is equal to 0 0.048. Here, the diagram having been drawn with red color is the one obtained from the Abacus software. As it can be observed here, if PE4 mass is equal to 800 grams, the hoop plastic strain will be equal to 0 0.15. And if that is equal to 600 grams, the hoop plastic strain 
will be around 0 0.0983. And if PE4 mass is equal to 400 grams, the hoop plastic strain will be near 0 0.048. As you observe, the results gained from the Abacus software are close to results mentioned in the article. And the results obtained from the Abacus software are quite acceptable.